Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In April 2021, the Indian Ministry of Defense had issued an official RFI for the phased purchase of next generation 350 light tanks under Make in India scheme of DAP 2020. The requirement of the light tank was filled after China fielded its Type 15 during standoff in Ladakh. The combat weight of tanks, that is the weight of fully loaded tank, should not exceed 25 tons with modular upgradable main gun, secondary armament for anti-air and ground rolls with different caliber and assisted by a remote weapon station. It should also fire modern advanced multi-purpose smart munitions with gun tube launched anti-tank guided missile and able to defeat tanks, A vehicles, UAVs and soft-skinned vehicles and PGMs. It should have stenag level protection from all sides including top. It must have explosive reactive armor, soft kill measures, CBRN protection and instant fire and detection and suppression system. The most interesting offering for this requirement has been offered from LNT. They have two offerings, one in collaboration with DRDO and other in collaboration with South Korean Hanwha Defense. As per the latest reports, LNT has said it is prepared to produce light tanks with South Korea's Hanwha Defense for Indian Army. LNT has already tied with South Korean firm for the production of K9 Vajra T self propelled Howitzer, a variant of K9 Thunder. We have also reported earlier that South Korean Defense has offered K21 105 medium tank with a 105mm turret mounted on a proven chassis of K21 infantry fighting vehicle which can fire all NATO standard ammunition. The 105mm turret can achieve more than 42 degrees of elevation which will be critical in mountainous warfare. It can also fire at minus 10 degrees of depression angle. It also has an auxiliary 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. It is also equipped with smoke grenade, laser warning system, CBRN protection and instant fire detection and suppression system. It offers high accuracy, fully stabilized, computerized day and night TI fire control system. Company is ready to add any other measures as requested by Army. The key feature of the tank is advanced lightweight design, delivering high tactical and strategic mobility. It has combat weight of 25 tons with a max speed of 70 km per hour and cruising range of 450 km. The key to note here is that the tank fits well within the 25 ton weight requirement of Army. The tank will feature active and passive kill measures as per the Army's requirement. Overall, if we analyze the offering by South Korean company, it is using a proven platform and matching most of the requirement of RFI. LNT has already manufactured K9 Vajra, which is also based on the South Korean K9 Thunder and has been quite a success. DRDO CBRDE and LNT has also started working on lightweight tank. Initially, the plan was to use existing K9 Vajra chases and replace its 155mm gun with a 105mm gun to reduce its weight. But it seems this plan has been dropped now. CBRD is going ahead with the chases of NGMBT. Though this was designed initially for Indian Army FRCD program, CBRD seems to be reusing the same design for light tank which seems to be right segue for the development. One of the unique features of this design is three member crew configuration located at the frontal portion of the hull which has maximum protection. This will increase the amount of passive, composite and reactive armor protection required for the crew. The tank is expected to have weight of 35 ton powered by MTU K500 or 501 diesel engine delivering over 1100 kilowatt shaft power with the 10 speed 5 forward 5 reverse. The same engine is used in western tanks such as Leclerc, Challenger 2E and Mirkawa MK4. Looking at the present progress made by CVRD on the lightweight tanks, we can expect the first prototype of the tank 
coming out between 2023 to 24 followed by its trial the production of tanks may start by 2027 This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.